Hi, this is Leonard Hughes again, uh, going over our, month, our monthly uh, tele tip. Today's tele tip is clinical management of uh, patients on telemetry and telemetry alarms. So we want to make sure we're following the hospital's policies when it comes to uh, documentation of uh, tele alarms. Any alarms that has uh, rhythm changes or appear to be rhythm changes, we need to notify the physician. In addition, we need to document the patient's status change as well. Anytime we're monitoring telemetry, we don't want to discard the fact that we don't want to substitute uh, assessment. We want to make sure we're looking at our patients and assessing our patients as well. We need to go to the room and actually put eyes on them. We want to make sure that if there's any change um, in that patient status, we need to document that as well along with the alarm notice. And we want to also uh, just be aware of anything that is not considered a true alarm and I do have some examples of artifact that could be presented so the first example that I have here it could be possibly movement related if the patient's on tally and this is something that you're seeing across the monitor and it's beeping we want to check the leads go look at our patient they're um, more than likely they're moving around the second one is another example of movement related uh, artifact or maybe the patient has sneezed something abruptly happened but they're generally okay you know we can delete these type of artifact the third one and the last one there is a current interference type of artifact artifact and that's just kind of when um, there's a some it's something else going on in the room where there is um, maybe some chest physiotherapy going on or some other type of uh, electronic movement is going on so there's your tele tips for the month. Thank you very much.